My name is Daniela Witten, and I'm a professor at University of Washington in the departments of statistics and biostatistics. My name is Ilana Witten, and I'm an associate professor at Princeton University in the Neuroscience Institute and the Department of Psychology. My sister is Ilana, so she and I did our graduate training at the same time at Stanford. I was in the stat department, and she was in neuroscience. And it became very clear that she had a skill set that would be extremely useful if applied to systems neuroscience. At the same time, she, much like other statisticians, were applying their skills primarily to genomics research and ver knew very little about systems neuroscience and what they could use their skills for in that field. And for me, this all changed a couple of years ago when calcium imaging data became very prevalent in neuroscience. So calcium imaging makes it possible to image dozens or hundreds of neurons simultaneously in the brain of a behaving animal. But because this technology is new, statistical methods to make sense of this data really haven't been developed yet. And even though she was interested, it was only thanks to the opportunity that came from the Brain Initiative that we could actually officially start working together. So we envision two types of outcomes from this grant. The first are scientific discoveries better understanding of how neural activity is organized within and across neurons within the reward circuit, how that activity changes with learning, and how it differs across subpopulations of neurons. The other outcome we think is methodological. The statistical methods that we're developing during this grant should be equally applicable to other data sets elsewhere in the brain, also during other behaviors. So we don't think that the methods that are being developed by the, for this project are specific to the specific questions that we're addressing. I'm a newcomer to the field of computational neuroscience, so I was a little bit nervous that maybe the review panel um, would think that I'm a statistician who doesn't know enough neuroscience to get funding from the Brain Initiative. And instead, what I got was a bunch of reviewers who were just really excited to see new perspectives and a new set of ideas, and it was just wonderful to get these actually really heartening reviews that showed a welcoming community. The Brain Initiative recognizes that bringing scientists with different skills, viewpoints, and expertise to work together on systems neuroscience is a way to create the fastest possible progress. Just as new data sets are being generated, also new statistical questions are arising on the basis of those data sets that haven't been answered before. And so calcium imaging and other new technologies in neuroscience are really opening a whole new set of statistical questions that we need to answer before we can actually fully exploit the value of those new technologies. Although there is a long tradition in neuroscience of bringing people outside of neuroscience into the field, there have been very few statisticians that have been brought into neuroscience. This is a gap that I think the Brain Initiative recognizes is really important to fill, and therefore I think this Brain Initiative represents a really important and exciting opportunity to bring statisticians into the field, which I think will accelerate the pace of systems neuroscience research for many years to come. There are a lot of opportunities. My advice is to not underestimate your competitiveness and to just go ahead and apply. We were on the fence about applying because we hadn't collaborated officially before, and Daniela was relatively new to neuroscience, but we decided to go ahead and submit an application, and it was funded on our first try, and now we are being trusted with this new project, which is really exciting. So my advice is go ahead and apply.